Here we have a 2003 Audi A4 3.0 litre diesel convertible in blue. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth we're looking at around 3 to 4 millimetres there. Quite a bit of wear in there to the outer edge. Offside front alloy, as you can see, we've got some scuff marks and some curbing to the alloy itself. So it may require a refurb there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, there's one or two small dinks, uh, very small dent behind the driver's door as well. Looking around the front arch, as you can see, got some bubbling in the paintwork around the arch there in quite a few places. Heavy scuff on the offside front uh, bumper. As you can see, there's sort of indentation there in the bumper as well. So do be aware of that. Looking down, you can see you've got a bit of trim missing there. Mirror looks, uh, as you can see, they've got some paint peel on the mirror there, a couple of stone chips as well. Driver's door itself, a couple of light scratches could do with a polish. You've got some scuff marks all below the driver's door there. They're going to require some touchings. Again, some light scratches around the door, some small dinks. Quite a few heavy chips in the door edge, so definitely require some paint work there. As you can see, you've got the, uh, the cloth roof. Doesn't appear to have any sign of any damage at all to that, that looks okay. Moving towards the rear arch, again some scuff marks to the paintwork around the arch. Again some light scratches around the back. As you can see, you've got quite a heavy scratch there on the offside rear quarter, looks like it's had some paint, it's not the best job though. And the rear tyre, looking at around 3mm max. And the offside rear alloy again, looks like it's had some scratches, looks like it's had some paint to it, but again, not the best job. Bit of curbing there, again some scratches around that side. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the back of the bumper here. Again some scuff marks, some scratches to the paintwork, very deep scratch there, right in the centre of the bumper. Again looks like it's had some paint, um, some scratches all around the boot, again some paint um, been added to those. Again there's quite a bit of a gap there on the rear light. Um, it looks like it's more than the opposite side, so be aware of that. It's slightly out of line there as well. Looks like it's got a bit of a dent, so it may be because of that there. So do be aware of that. But again, some light scratches to the bumper. Take a look inside the boot. Not bad condition at all, pretty clean. And we have got the spare wheel in the back there. Move around to the near side of the vehicle for the near side rear tyre. Once again, around 3mm of tread there. And the near side rear alloy, again inside of the spokes are starting to bubble, not bad condition though, no curbing or scuff marks to that alloy. And looking at the near side of the vehicle, once again just one or two small dinks, some scuff marks around the rear arch here. Again you can see it's had a bit of a scrape on the rear arch, again looks like it's had a bit of paint. You can see some deep scratches going all the way down the side of the vehicle there. Some light scratches below the, uh, the passenger door there. You've got a bit of a heavy chip in the uh, the paintwork there. If we just open up the door, as you can see it's cracked all the inside of the paintwork there, so be aware of that. And again, some light scratches as we move down the door. Light scratches to the mirror. And looking around the front tyre, again around 3 to 4 mil. Quite a bit of wear in there to the outer edge though. And the near side front alloy, again some scratches some curbing, looks like they've all had uh, paint to them. So a definite refurb there. Looking around the uh, offside, or near side, sorry, near side front bumper. You can see the bumper's hanging off there. Um, so that's obviously going to require some work there, maybe some clips, etc. You can see it's been heavily scuffed at the bottom. Scratch marks there, scuff marks. All loose below the, uh, the headlight. Stone chips to the front. Got a crack in the front bumper underneath the plate. And again, a uh, sort of crease there in the bumper as well, some scuff marks, and again some light scratches below there. Got some deep scratches you can see on the bonnet, running all along here. So again, beware of that as well. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see at the uh, full leather, lots of wear marks, You've got quite a few scratches there. Quite a bit of wear in there to the bolsters, definitely uh, got some age related marks there. Take a look inside the, uh, the back seat, no signs of any damage at all, just a lot of wear marks to the leather, a bit dirty as well. 
front passenger seat. Again, just some wear marks all along the uh, the bolsters, etc. Steering wheel showing some signs of age. You've got some scratches, etc. To there. Door panels a bit dirty. It's very dirty inside as well. And stepping inside the vehicle itself. Now we do have only one key with the car, so one key. And just get the vehicle started. Car starts first time, no issues at all there. Has done quite a few miles as we can see there, 120,080 miles on the clock. Um, no symbols appearing on the dash there at all. As you can see it just needs some washer fluids and fuel etc. Got a mud function steering wheel but again like I said it's showing some wear marks, some scratches to the wheel. Bit of wearing around the gear stick there, scratches etc to the wood. Radio works perfectly fine, no issues at all there, got a CD player, um, as you can see, no issues at all with the blowers, does come out nice and warm, the only thing is the econ light doesn't turn off, as you can see there, no matter what I do, the light just doesn't turn off, so not quite sure if that's on or off, and it's just the light, so do be aware of that, and just to show you around the back of the vehicle, as you can see there is quite a bit of a uh, sort of a blue tinted smoke coming out of the vehicle um, so do be aware of that and again slipping inside the car just to go through the paperwork now it is a copy of the D5 as the plate is on retention but we're looking at six owners on the vehicle so six owners it does have an MOT till April 10th 2015 so a few months left on that um, unfortunately there's no service book with the vehicle, uh, we've been told that it, had, has, it has had some services done to the car, uh, the, next due, the next due service is in 300 days, um, so it's been serviced recently but unfortunately there is no documents to show service history, so unfortunately no documents to show the service history and there's no service book as well. Um, so do be aware of that. Of course it's convertible so the main feature is the roof obviously can come down. There's no issues at all putting the roof down. I've tried and tested that. It works perfectly fine going down and coming up as well. So no issues at all with the roof. That is the 2003 Audi A4 3 litre diesel in blue.